Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. As you can see, we do have Addy's DMVC A90 and a car you guys may remember I was working with the ESDA spec GTI. So I've decided to come back and revisit this car and see if I can get it to hang with Addy's really quick A90. So we're gonna take a look at that day. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll let you find in the description box below. And if you guys want to keep seeing stuff like this, you guys know what to do. So let's get to it. So we're gonna test and see if this car can keep up. So the car is now in new spec. Uh, it is only on 265s because of the weight. So I'm not sure how it's gonna fare against your 285 monster. It's 75s now. Oh, 75s, okay. I mean, so far so good. Kinda of bobbled a little bit, but. Trying to get used to, oh, I forgot about that turn. <laughs> trying to get used to the shorter inertias on this car from that M4. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the shorter inertias on this car are definitely uh, something I need to get used to compared to the M4. Um, not saying I'm completely nixing the M4. This is just revisiting this car because I did truly love this car, so we're and trying to make it work. It's an unfinished project. It is an unfinished project, and I don't like unfinished projects, so... I'm way shallow. I got left. Oh, man. I don't think this car has enough <laughs> grip. Yeah, I don't think I have enough grip, but we're gonna have you chase me and see if uh, you have a hard time chasing, because trying to make this car fast is one thing. It is. It, because uh, it's so short. <laughs> so how, uh, how much faster is it with the 2 jack? Well, this doesn't have a 2J in it. Oh, with mine. It's, uh, oh, your car? Oh, Jesus. I think it's much quicker than it was before. Oh, that's wide. Oh. Ignore that wideness. And that wideness, I got caught by the... Oh, it snaps so much faster. Is it so much shorter? We're gonna try that one again. Um, this car being so short of a wheelbase, I'm trying to. Ow. I I'm trying to get acclimated to it because it's way harder to drive such a short wheelbase and such a high gripping horsepower because it wants to snap over steer real quick. So. It's a testing project, because I don't like unfinished projects. better. It did seem like you were struggling <laughs> that bad to stay behind me, though. Uh, I wasn't in fourth. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, we're gonna go, in fourth? we're gonna go into fifth and see what happens. Okay, I'll put it in fourth this time and apologies for whatever happens. Oh my! <laughs> um, I just got yated. So, I, I can definitely tell that the car's quicker, but I don't know if the 265s are going to be able to keep up. And that's the only concern with this car is the short wheelbase on 265s. 
So let me know what you guys think down below. I mean, I could probably stretch to 75s in this car. Justifiably. Are you in fourth? I'm in fourth now. I mean, I have to cut the angle so much to catch up. <laughs> I had to cut the angle so much to catch up to that. Holy crap. Uh... I'm going to try and stay in correct line and see if I can keep up. Because okay. I know the M4 can keep up, but I don't know about this car right now. We haven't tested the M4 with the new 2J. We have not. Maybe we should test that real quick. And I'm on a base tune. Yep. So I'm going to grab the M4, so I'll catch you guys when we pick on Great. We're going to see how fast this car is now compared to what it was before. All right, now we'll do it. All right, so we got we got the BMW M4 G82 out. We're going to see if this car can keep up the A90 and see the difference between the Golf and this car right now because this car is dialed in fast, but I want to see how it fares against <laughs> this newly, newly tweaked a90. This M4 is just so good. It's just so good. <laughs> okay, I was in fourth that whole time. Okay, I was in fourth too. And I was on top <laughs> end of fourth. Okay, so the M4 is definitely way faster, way smoother, and way more controllable than that Golf. Um, <laughs> there's a reason why this car is like OG right now for me. I'm gonna have to work on your Golf. there oh oh my i'm running over you are you in fourth i am <laughs> holy crap apparently i have cheat codes but i don't have a, a tune from this car yet i just have the uh i have my i'm running my base tune on this car okay sweet so we're both on base we're tune. both on base tunes with no real tune okay so i think i've determined by running these that the m4 is far superior than that golf <laughs> I do have another trick up my sleeve that I might be building another car. I have until May to submit my ESDA car. So I'm still uh, making some other stuff around. Oh, that was probably me. Let's try that one final time. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try on the screen box below. I appreciate you guys coming back for another episode here. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Golf or M4? which is faster obviously i know which is faster because i'm driving them but what do you guys think and obviously which one do you prefer style wise i already know where that was gonna go but i still like to know it's down below you're not in my opinion on the style i mean it's just so good like that's a little wide but we're good oh that's okay, you're just turning the favor from last time. So that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of course. A big thanks to Addy. As always, have fun banging some doors. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching 360s. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.